Okay, guys, so we definitely need some storing practice, some of us. So let's, we all could probably use some of it, but all right, so let's do this. So we're given that x is equal to this number, uh, which is irrational. I know it's irrational because of the square root of non-perfect squares are involved, and then also the pi is irrational. So we're going to find v. So this is what x is, and then v is this. So we're going to find the value of e given this value of x and store, excuse me, storing. All right, so I'm going to type this radical into my calculator. So I hit the radical. Okay, make sure that you're able to do this, guys. So um, pause the video if you can't find things. And then I go alpha y equals, and I hit this. You know, along the way, if you want to simplify, if it makes things easy, fine. Um, so you could put 45 or you could just put, you know, 5 times 9. And then this, I need another alpha y equals 7 pi over 4. That is an irrational number. If you round it, you're not going to get the correct answer necessarily. If you use enough decimal places, you could, but um, or you will, but um, yeah, better to just store it. So I'm going to hit this store button down here, store. I can choose any letter. To get the letters, you hit alpha and then any key with a green letter above it. So I'll use A. So I'll go alpha. Yeah, and that'll put an A in there, and then I hit enter, okay? So, and then I'm going to write down, I'm going to say stored, I'll just say stow A, all right? Anyone reading my paper would know that I stored that as A. Stow, I'll say stored, stored A. All right, and so now I just go V equals... You know, you don't even need to show this part. V equals a to the fifth plus 2a to the third minus 15. All right. So then I go a to the fifth plus 2a to the third minus 15. Okay. So V, and then when we do our answer, we want at least three decimal places. So 223.508. Okay, now let's do this one. Okay, so this time we're going to solve for R. <clears throat> you could do this differently than me if you want. Um, what I'm going to do, this is just a suggestion for how you could use the storing thing. I'm going to store this as A. That co So this coefficient I will store as A. And then this coefficient I will store as B. All right, so the first coefficient, um, this is, I guess I'll just use, all right, all right, so 5 over 7 pi 9 squared, okay? And I'm doing things I don't necessarily need need to do in the calculator, but I just I'm writing and putting in the calculator exactly as it is on my paper. All right, in case that helps anybody. And then I'm storing. And then this will be A. Okay, so that's stored as A. And then I'll store the other one as B. So here's the other one. So eight fifth. Pi, oh, pi over 2 over 9. Okay, I want this to be pi over 2 ninths. Um, so, pi, shoot. So, delete. Um, I'll make it clear on your, on your practice. Oh, shoot, what am I doing? All right, so... Ah, uh, eight fifths radical pi over two ninths. Okay, and then outside of the radical, we've got seven squared, and I don't even need those parentheses. Um, 
All right, and then this I will store as B. Okay, and so I get one, four, nine, and you could skip, you know, some steps, guys, plus BR. You could factor the R out. Okay, so R is equal to 1149 over A plus B. So now I go 1149. Wait, I'll use this. 1149 over A plus B. Yep, 2.411. Okay, 